What's going on, everybody? Thanks for watching. Uh, this is a Boxster based cart. This is owned by Dennis here in Denver, and he built this thing in his garage, and it is very cool and very unique. So he's a big mountain bike uh, fanatic, and he goes mountain biking all the time in the mountains outside of uh, Denver, where he lives. And he decided that it would be kind of cool, you know, he was driving on these windy roads, that it would be kind of cool to have a car that he could drive that would be really fun, and that he could carry his mountain bikes on. And that's kind of the genesis of how this vehicle came to be. And so he basically started shopping around for an appropriate base, and he ended up with a wrecked, 2002 uh, Boxster. So got the car for uh, you know very, very good price. And even though he's not an engineer as a career, he's a trained engineer uh, from college. And so he relied on his engineering skills uh, to build this thing. And so he he got the car, got it home in his garage, and uh, proceeded to completely disassemble it and built a what's called you know like an exoskeleton an exo frame around it a lot of carts are based on uh corvettes and you know there's some miata carts running around out there with the v8s and whatnot uh but he wanted a mid-engine cart and so that's why he decided to to find a mid-engine platform and he found this wrecked boxster and i just love the um ingenuity behind this thing you know it took him months and months like six months in the garage of fabricating figuring out the different angles in it and you know the end result is like does not look like it was botched together at all it looks like it was made by a professional shop which is impressive because it was made in his garage in his spare time He based his design on actual racing uh, roll cages. And so uh, the angles that he has, uh, triangulated braces and whatnot, add a lot of strength to it. It's a very well-made vehicle. It's really good quality. He did a good job on all the welds and everything, and it, it has a nice structural uh, rigidity to it. You can tell it's very stiff and it's well put together. Now, he's got a lot of really cool touches on this thing, like the uh, you know, there's like a lot of motorcycle kind of aftermarket components for like the headlights that are these really cool LEDs and the taillights, the same thing. Uh, he's running uh, fixed wheels. So they are 17 by nine. So it's a square setup. He's got stock sway bars, but he's running uh, Bilstein PSS9 coilovers. So basically adjustable for rebound and compression and ride hunt. Uh, the interior uses some uh, Bride Replica GT3 seats, which are really comfortable and quite nice, actually. They're, they definitely, um, they hold you in nicely and they're, they're, they're really comfortable. Uh, the shifter is really nice. He's got a numeric uh, short shift kit. Really nice, just allows you to snap off shifts really effortlessly. So it has a 2.7 liter with about 217 horsepower and about 192 foot-pounds of torque. So originally zero to 60 on this car was probably around six and a half seconds, I want to say, possibly low sixes. 
so the engine is basically stock. He has a, a cold air intake on it, and he has removed the mufflers. So it's running basically the catalytic converters are what is, you know, muffling the sound. So it's quite a bit louder. Power to weight is what this car is all about. And so the acceleration is definitely much stronger than a normal 2.7 uh, Boxster would have. This thing's probably 0 to 60 in sub 5 seconds is what it feels like. Yeah, I mean, everything about the car performs better. You brush the brakes and it just, you know, slows down that much more. This thing weighs about 2150, so it's um, a solid, what, that's 800 pounds lighter probably than, a, uh, uh, than the stock car was. Sounds good. I tell you, a, a Porsche Flat 6 2.7 like this without mufflers, it's definitely race car loud. Uh, it's very attention getting. And it's amazing too, because normally this is an engine that you have to rev the crap out of to get, you know, the most acceleration. But because of the weight of this thing, the mid range is really strong. It like has no body roll at all whatsoever. This feels like a, basically a gigantic go-kart. I love the view out, being able to see everything. It's like very similar to riding a motorcycle. It feels really good. I mean, it's not sketchy to drive. It feels very rigid. Like I said, it does feel literally like a big overgrown go-kart. And I'll tell you, it's, it's, it's really bizarre driving what feels like a Boxster in regards to the steering and the throttle response and the brakes and the shifting and everything. But I look down here to my right and I can see the road whizzing by like inches away. All right, you guys, well, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Subscribe if you like the content, give me a like or a comment and we'll see you next time.